Good afternoon, everyone. Okay, a couple things at the top before we go into Q&A. The President and the First Lady grieve the three lives lost at UNLV yesterday in yet another act of senseless gun violence. And our thoughts are with those who survived this incident and are, and are undoubtedly traumatized by this horrific event, including one survivor who sustained critical injuries. We are grateful for the brave law enforcement officers who ran towards danger and prevented further loss of life. At the President's direction, we have federal officials on the ground supporting local response efforts and providing all necessary assistance. The newly established Office of Gun Violence Prevention is also coordinating federal resources to help the community recover from this tragedy. Because we know it's not just the victims and survivors who need support, but this violence rips apart entire communities. And I also want to note that less than 24 hours ago, I stood at this same podium as we mourned the six lives lost in San Antonio. And here we are again today. When the President talks about ending the epidemic gun violence, this is what he's talking about. From Las Vegas to Texas to Memphis to Maine, when will, be en when will it be enough? When will it be enough? We are in crisis and we cannot continue to live like this. As the President said, Republican lawmakers must join Democrats in Congress to advance common sense measures to protect Americans from gun violence. Literally every day, every day we wait, becomes a, another day too late. 